What is up everyone? Welcome back to McDougal's journey as an outlaw on the WoW Ascension server. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. We have done quite a lot. <laughs> By the end of this video, you will see quite a lot of progress indeed. I hope you enjoyed the PvP because we have quite a few little encounters. And I will see you guys at the end of the video. Alright, alright. What do we get? Yeah, so Disarm is honestly amazing. That's... I can't even believe it. Uh, between Evasion, Divine Protection, and Disarm, uh, our character has a lot of defensive capability. The only thing it seems that I'm lacking now is some form of Gap Closer or Pseudo Gap Closer that we have obviously been looking for the entire series. But even if we don't get that, the amount of defensive spells that we have really does make up for it. So, so far, so good. Alright guys, we actually found somebody running for their life. I think they're actually about to be attacked by that dwarf. Gonna have to find out. Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. Maybe we can help him, or maybe... <laughs> Maybe we can take both kills. Let's see. So far, the dwarf looks like he's still mounted, still chasing the guy. He should catch him. But they have no idea that I'm right behind both of them. Okay, the dwarf is demounted, entangling roots on the dwarf. Oh my god, let's do this. Ren's up, got the overpower up. Arcane shot. Auto attack. Oh god. Oh god, no. Please. Alright, I just gotta get the rend up again and we should win. Gotta go for the hamstring now. And he's so dead. God, this build is strong. Let's just take that loot. That is pretty decent looking loot. And we saved... A little dude. A little guy that was just trying to run off and uh, do some questing, so I feel pretty good. <laughs> uh, let's see what we got. Wicked Chain Helmet of the Boar, Rod of Molten Fire, and then Enduring Breaches. Not quite better than what I have. We, we do prioritize strength right now, but nonetheless, uh, pretty decent loot, so I'll take it. Alright guys, we have two people up here who we tried to fight earlier 1v2, but it turns out anybody with a heal on the server makes 1v2ing nearly impossible, because they just sit there and spam heal on each other and nobody ever dies, and then you die. So, we're gonna get revenge! So we just have to find them first, and we have to get them when they are fighting other things. So, that is the current goal. They deserve this. We're going to go for it as soon as we can find some kind of opening. Alright guys, I think this might be the opening we need to go for. Maybe not though. Maybe we wait just a tad bit longer. It's unfortunate. Their builds don't seem too bad because none of them are going out of mana and none of them are being dropped low enough. So they're right behind this tree and we're going to go in when they engage multiple raptors at the same time. Alright, we're just going to go in now. I'm sick of waiting. I am sick of waiting. Gonna go in now. Fire Blast. Can we get the rend off? Pop the evasion. Overpowered. He's not doing anything! So they spam heals. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is so stupid. This is so freaking stupid. Oh my god. Alright, we did actually get off the disarm this time. We don't have an interrupt of any kind. Oh my god, can we kill this guy? Can we just get him? Oh my god, no! This is ridiculous! Get the rend off again. We're just gonna go for a healing touch. Okay, we're gonna kill him. We got him! We got him! Oh my god, we actually got him. It counted for some reason as the raptors kill, but we, we got him as far as I'm concerned. Can we get this guy too? Go for the fire blast. He has gouge. We're gonna kill him. Oh my god, this one we actually got. Yes! The 1v2 and the payback for killing me and just spamming heals on each other. Oh. Oh, that whole everything was worth it. We actually did lose our necklace the first time around and we did not get it back. Instead, we got this guy's crappy bracers. But you know what? I'll take it. I will absolutely take it. Uh, let's see. What did we actually end up getting? 
Jorgen bracers, right? Yeah, they're not better than what I have. The th we don't value the three agility um, more than the stamina and the armor. So, nonetheless, uh, there's the 1v2. Didn't get the loot on the first guy because, unfortunately, he must have got tagged by the mob at the end. But did get the second guy. So, yeah. Uh, got the revenge, and we'll probably pick up a new necklace real quick, but yeah, having fun with that. Hope you guys enjoyed that <laughs> as much as I did. Alright guys, we have another person here. She ran off when she saw me coming towards Booty Bay, so we're gonna actually follow her out, and we're going to kill her as soon as she unmounts. Can we, is she gonna unmount for the quest? Yep. Oh yeah, this is easy. This is gonna be easy. All right. Oh god, no. Oh god, no. I'm actually just going to trinket that and keep going towards her. Uh, I wouldn't typically, but now we can get the hamstring off, which is super important. All right, rend, fire blast, and obviously an overpower coming up and she's dead as fuck. <laughs> oh god. Uh, we're just going to loot all of that, and we're going to jump in this Scarlet Monastery Cathedral right on time. Alright, so typically dungeons are not something I'm going to record, but since my last clip segued so well into this, I'm just going to go ahead and show a little bit of footage uh, from the dungeon, Scarlet Cathedral. I've never had any problem running a dungeon on this server. I know some people have, um, but for me it's always been very, very easy. So I guess the only thing I want to show is how this build does on a single target boss fight. So that's what I'm going to do. When we get to the last boss, I will pull that up and we'll see just how the DPS stacks up against other random builds. And uh, then we'll get right back into the PvP action. So we're going to do the boss really soon. And as you can see, I am coming out on top with a combination of Reign of Fire, which is currently getting small ignite procs, and just spamming random overpower on absolutely everything. So I think I should actually come in first on the boss fight too, but we'll have to see. Alright, so I forgot to record immediately. That might bring my DPS down a little bit, but we're going to see how we do. First place, at least for the beginning, and that's after tabbing out to turn OBS on. <laughs> uh, so we'll see how we do on the last part of the boss fight. Maybe I can drink right now. I cannot. Okay, okay. Let's do it. Get the rend off. Go for that crit. That was a big crit, and we're asleep now. Still in first. So that's pretty cool. This is with one point in Ignite, by the way, guys. Imagine five points in Ignite. Alright, so we're going to get the Rend off on White Main and put the Rend on Scarlet Mograin dude as well. We're going to get a new ability midway in and finish off this boss. Holy shit. Oh, I thought that was Concussive Blow. I thought that was Concussive Blow. Uh, we actually fell off at the end there, but that's fine. <laughs> um... We'll just greed on those items. I think we would have come in first, but I was getting too excited off the concussive blow. All right, guys. So now that we're level 40, we're actually going to re-roll one of our abilities, and that ability is pick lock. Not only do I just not want to level my lock picking uh, at all, which it seems like I have to do because I've had this ability since like level 12, but it's been useless. So we're going to go ahead and re-roll that ability, and hopefully we get something good. <laughs> <laughs> so close, so close. Uh, well, you know what? At least Curse of Agony is usable to some degree. Uh, not great, but it is something. Uh, so we'll take it. It's damage. All right, guys. What's our next ability? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! That is so good. We finally got it, guys. We got the pseudo gap closer. We got the sprint. Wow, this. This changes everything. Okay, guys, looks like we have another person to fight. Little Peep up here. Um, this should be an incredibly easy kill. He's very low on mana, and he's a caster build. I am a melee build. So we're going to go for the Fire Blast, get that rend off. Next thing, go in for the Hamstring. It's really just spamming overpower now. Uh, we'll go for another Fire Blast. I, I guess we'll pop the Agony. And, uh, Overpower Fire Blast should be the end of it. And bam, there it is. All right. What loot did we get? Demon Band <laughs> and a bunch of crap. Well, that's okay. Oh, crap. Here comes another guy. Ah, and Zulfarag. 
Saved by the bell. So I decided to do Sulfurak because I have quite a few quests for it. Three, in fact. The Divinomatic quest, the Scarab Shell quest, and the Troll Temper quest, I believe it is. So I joined up with this group. They were all in one guild, and they were relatively competent players. And so it, it ended up being a very fast run. And I'll go ahead and skip to the last boss here for you guys. And you can see that on the last boss, McDougal did come out on top, first place DPS. Although, to be fair, someone who was in very high contention with me died at the beginning of the fight. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it was a pretty good run. We didn't really get loot that we needed too much, but we did gain quite a few levels in the process. So that is always good. And of course, we did not gain any reputation in the process. So that is awesome. Alright guys, so one thing we did actually pick up during that last dungeon run was the Poison's ability. So now we're going to be able to use things like Instant Poison, Deadly Poison, Mind Numbing Poison, and Wound Poison. Unfortunately, right now we use a two-handed weapon, so we won't be able to get the full effect of something along the lines of Deadly plus Instant or Deadly plus Wound Poison. However, we do have a lot of ideas now for what we're going to be doing at level 60. Alright everyone, we are going to get our next ability. What is it going to be? Can we get a gap closer oh my god oh my god intercept we got intercept wow wow that is so incredible the only thing we're missing now is an interrupt we have sprint and intercept we also had shadow bolt as you can see from earlier it just wasn't worth showing but wow intercept that is so good I'm, oh my god wow okay everyone now it is time to re-roll now that we're level 50 and, um, we're gonna re-roll Shadow Bolt, as it is the least applicable skill that we currently have that is also a 2 AE ability. And what do we get? Oh my god! Lesser Healing Wave! Now we have a fast heal and a slow heal in Healing Touch and Lesser Healing Wave. That is amazing. Aside from an interrupt, that's all we actually needed. Our build is rounding out so well i'm really happy with that okay everyone so what i wanted to do real quick at the very end is go over our current iteration of our talent build and then maybe talk a little bit about where i plan to go with it in the future so currently our build relies entirely on the abilities as you can see at the bottom ghostly strike rend overpower fire blast curse of agony if it's a long fight and then that's about it so what we do is we rend our target and then we spam overpower. We also make sure to use fire blast on cooldown, attempting to get it to critical strike. We went into the arms tree, as we've said before, and we got all of the rend and overpower applicable talents, with the only exception being we have not quite put our points into unrelenting assault yet. We also went into the elemental shaman tree and put three points into elemental devastation, which means when we crit with our fire blast, we will increase our critical strike chance with our melee attacks by nine. Now, the reason we chose to go this route is because of the talents that focus around Fire Blast. We were able to max out the following, Improved Fire Blast, which reduces the cooldown of Fire Blast by 2 seconds, Incineration, which increases the critical strike chance of Fire Blast by 9%, and Ignite, which means my critical strikes from fire damage spells cause the target to burn for an additional 40% of my spell's damage, and causes them to take 50% less healing over four seconds. Now Ignite, combined with Deep Wounds, combined with Rend, adds for quite a lot of damage over time on our opponent, and the majority of this damage over time is in fact passive. Now as I said in one of the very first episodes, we also went three points into Naturalist, reducing the cast time of Healing Touch by 0.5, increasing its critical strike chance by 9%, and increasing my physical damage by 3%. As well, very solid pickup for a melee build using Healing Touch. The rest of our points ended up going into the Enhancement Shaman Tree so far. We took 5 points in Thundering Strikes because it increases our chance to get a critical strike with both spells and attacks. There's also some merit to the idea of taking Conviction, which does the same thing. But we only have 9 more talents that we can choose between now and max levels. It's been difficult trying to decide exactly where they should go. Our build currently does have mana problems, and it's been very hard trying to find maybe some kind of talent supplement for that. Uh, so far, I have not. We also took three points into Mental Dexterity, increasing our melee attack power by 100% of our intellect. And the reason we did this is because our build relies on mana heavily for a non-caster build. In fact, it relies on mana so much that if I did not do what I'm about to show you guys, I could only get off maybe five or six fire blasts before being completely out of mana. 
and we took three points into Unleashed Rage. Not only does this go well with Mental Dexterity, because it increases our attack power and Mental Dexterity is giving us more attack power, but it also increases our expertise by six, which gives us less of a chance to be dodged or parried, which is always nice to have. We took Mental Dexterity and we maxed out our Intellect. As we are a melee build, it might be weird to a lot of people to see that. However, because we took Mental Dexterity, we are getting 150 extra attack power based on maxing out our intellect. We are also gaining 1500 mana, give or take. And because of this, we are able to more comfortably play our build and benefit from having this intellect in a hybrid style, which is both increasing our melee attack power while simultaneously gaining more spell crit with the intellect and more mana, meaning we'll have more uptime. And then the rest of our points will most likely go into stamina for PvP purposes and probably agility or strength if we are raiding. So this current build leaves us around 16% melee crit and 11.74% spell crit, which is actually increased by 9% with the talents we chose, making it 20%. That's a 20% chance to crit with Fire Blast, which will then proc Elemental Devastation, which will then allow us to crit more with Overpower and Ghostly Strike, and it is just a crit clown fiesta at that point. My ideas for the future of this build are to go dual wield specialization, which will increase my chance to hit with all spells and melee attacks while dual wielding by 1%, and my offhand auto attacks have a chance to increase my fire, frost, and nature damage dealt by 12% for 8 seconds. Now, this is very interesting because not only will it be able to increase my fire blast by 12% for 8 seconds, but it should also increase the damage of my poisons as they do nature damage and it does not specify spells. But if we want to take dual wield specialization, we need to actually dual wield. So I've decided that it might be very important for us to take single minded fury, which is not something you see often at level 60. This is interesting for us because it actually does give us a benefit towards our overpower, which is the cream de la cream of our build. It allows us to win equipping two one-handed weapons in both hands to get a additional attack off with our offhand weapon when we use overpower. This is actually incredibly interesting with dual wield specialization considering the fact that offhand auto attacks are what is going to give us our increased fire and nature damage. Now at that point we're only going to have five more talents to choose from and it's been very very difficult to decide what that should be. Now we could go with Conviction for the extra 5% spell and melee critical strike chance, but we could also go with something a little bit more well-rounded, going into the Fury Tree and picking up Dual Wield Specialization, which increases the damage done by our offhand weapon by 25%, but more importantly, increases our chance to hit with melee weapons and abilities by 5%, which would be very important for PvE. But we do have to consider the fact that we do want Unrelenting Assault, which is at least two other talent points uh, to make our overpower better, which would go very well with our plan for the build in the first place. If we were to take Unrelenting Assault, we would need some kind of three-point talent that would synergize well with our build in order to get the most efficiency out of it as we possibly could. This is leading me to believe that maybe I should take something along the lines of Shredding Blows, and the other possibility could be Flurry, which is basically the same thing as the last one, except that it increases our melee attack speed by 15% instead of ignoring 15% of our opponent's armor. Another ability we could try getting is actually the Savage Combat talent, which increases our total melee attack power by 2% and all physical damage caused to enemies I've poisoned by 4%, but this would leave us with one talent point hanging and I wouldn't be too sure exactly where to put that. If you guys have any ideas where I should go, or if you have any ideas on something I may have missed that can make my build better, or any ideas that are completely different from what I've said, please make sure to tell me in the comment section below because I would love to hear it. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section below telling me what you liked or what you did not like. Also, if you would subscribe, that would be fantastic. And I will see you guys in the next video where we should and will most definitely make it to level 60. McDouble's out.